This video will demonstrate how to create a service order in DTool 6. Uh, go to your start menu here, go to service orders and choose manage service orders. That will open up the service order explorer. And uh, here there's a new button where you can click that and that will open up a, a new service order form. So um, a service order must be assigned to a client and they can be an existing client that you choose from the drop down here or you can create a new client here. Uh, either from scratch or import from Outlook or QuickBooks. I'm going to use an existing client. Now, uh, just because you use an existing client doesn't mean you have to assign the service order to a particular project. Um, this may be for a client of yours that you created projects for prior to building them in six. So you may not have a six project file available to link to this. Um, in that case, there's really not a whole lot of information that you're going to be putting in a uh, service order, most likely at this point in time. It'll just be a description here and possibly some notes uh, for the installers to go do whatever work is required. And then they'll come back, uh, list their actual hours, and then at that point, you're probably going to go ahead and add uh, labor items here in order to um, charge the client for the labor that was done. So um, in this example, I'm going to choose an existing... Uh, project here and when you do that it opens up project repair items so that's just a, another um, type of item that you can add to a service order if it's linked to a project file you could add um, project items to this uh, for example for repair so uh, that's what we're going to do in this example and uh, the name here is repair camera and we can uh, put a description in here. I'll just go ahead and pop one in there. Um, and really at this point now, um, I could add notes. I could verify the, the site notes or anything like that. Um, I could add my resources. That's a common thing to do. This would be uh, which installers or text you're sending out. So I'll go ahead and click assign and I'll go ahead and pick uh, Joey and add him here. And it's showing it's uh, an estimated hour of one. At this point, I may not know how long this is going to take. I'm just creating a service order. Um, you know, you may guess and say two hours. You know, maybe it's gonna take three hours. You can always um, come back here and adjust the hours on the uh, general tab. Uh, in this case, I'm not gonna add labor or products uh, from my catalog to this yet because uh, I really don't know what's gonna take place on the, the uh, service order. But I will add a project repair item. And so, uh, since this example is that a camera is broken, we can find uh, the exact camera from the project file. And that's what you're seeing here, a list of all the uh, products or items that are in the project file. So I'm just going to do a quick filter here. Let's go here and choose this. And that has narrowed down to the camera that is having problems. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to add that here. And you can add notes here if you want. Uh, camera not working. And um, really at this point, you can save and close this. Um, you could run reports. Uh, mainly the one report you would run right now would be the service order report. We'll go ahead and generate that. And uh, that's what you see here. It's a um, listing of what's to be done. And of course the tech can do the work. Uh, there are no labor or products at this point in time other than the repair item. And um, yeah, you can also send this to Outlook uh, via email appointment or a task. Um, now, once the tech comes back and um, reports, you know, the work that was done, you can, of course, you know, add a labor item to this to charge for labor um, to do the work. And uh, if you've added any labor or products via these tabs here to a service order, you can send those directly to QuickBooks as an estimate right here in the new service order form.